I do believe that Arbitrum's governance token called ARB has crazy potential. And why is that? It's because I do believe that ARB, conservatively speaking, during the peak of this bull run, could hypothetically at least go to the price of $20. And of course, that's all financial advice. But why do I think so? It's because I do believe that uh, Ethereum layer 2 scaling solution, much like Arbitrum, is going to benefit greatly for instance, in the case of a Ethereum spot ETF approval in the US. Now, that right there is still in the works. Hopefully it does happen soon. But here's the thing. Even if we take a look at it at a global scale, we will see that very recently, for instance, right? Applicants posted to social media platform WeChat that they had been approved to list spot Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs in Hong Kong. And I've been to Hong Kong many times, by the way. Very fantastic. But yeah, besides that point, it should be noted how Hong Kong's market regulators has not made an official announcement yet. However, again, right, I think this news in and of itself is a positive direction because I do believe that this right here really showcases how the world just in general is starting to understand just how special, you know, something like Ethereum is and as well as, of course, other cryptocurrencies and blockchains as well. And keep in mind, right, when it comes to Arbitrum more specifically, some people, they may wonder that, hey, you know, what is its benefit towards Ethereum? You know, when I said Ethereum layer 2 scaling solution earlier on in the video, some people, they may be wondering, yeah, what is that? And in case anyone doesn't know what that is, what an Ethereum layer 2 scaling solution does is that it quite essentially allows Ethereum to be enjoyed, but at the same time, not having to deal with any of the drawbacks that exist with Ethereum right now. Because let's face it, right? Ethereum ecosystem it's fantastic you know that can be denied it has a lot of fans a lot of hype very diverse ecosystem that's incredible but at the same time ethereum it's not perfect right much like things in life not everything is always perfect because we take a look at ethereum first of all gas fees they're a problem you know that can be denied right because if let's say right someone wants to send their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma some eth to buy a used bratwurst extender and g-string lead the captain edition can you imagine the gas fees they're gonna have to pay for that right it's gonna be complete no bueno it's gonna be insane carayo boha and also ethereum arguably it's not scalable as of right now right we take a look at charles hoskinson and he's no random joe schmo playing xbox all day in their mom's basement eating Domino's and papa john's pizza you know that's not the case we take a look at how charles hoskinson he's the co-founder of ethereum and the founder of cardano he says how it may take Ethereum potentially a couple more years to become scalable. So that right there is a complete no bueno, especially when you consider other blockchains out there, much like Say, much like Solana, Cardano, Casper, and many others already being scalable as of right now. So that right there really does give Ethereum, you know, somewhat of a disadvantage because again, right, we're seeing a lot of its competitors already being scalable and yet it's still not. So I think that's a very big issue but again how is a way to tap into the ethereum ecosystem that's fantastic but at the same time not deal with the nonsense that's through a layer 2 scaling solution much like in the case of arbitrum now we take a look at very crazy statistics when it comes to arbitrum you know it's been able to save 2 million eth which is insane it has over 600,000 active wallets which is crazy carayo and it even has over $10 billion in total value lock, and also even nearly 50% market share in the layer 2 market. So that's very incredible if you ask me. Now I get it, right? There's a lot of layer 2s out there, Polygon, you know, Optimism. You take a look at Immutable, you take a look at Myria. I get that, but Ethereum, it's such a massive ecosystem to the point that there's a lot of room for these layer 2s to become successful, in my opinion, because... Does anyone ever complain that there's too many, you know, phone brands out there? You know, not really, right? But you got to think about this. Yeah, sure. Everyone loves Apple. They love Samsung. But in other regions of the world, there's many, you know, phone brands out there. You take a look at Oppo, Huawei, you know, even though Kia still has some phones, even though it's very caca, but you get my point, right? There's so many phone brands out there, but a lot of them, they're still able to be successful. But why is that? It's because... The market for it, it's massive to the point that a brand, it doesn't really need 90% market share to be successful. You know, that'd be great, but it's not necessary. So again, right, when it comes to something like Arbitrum, yes, I get it, a lot of competitors, but when I consider the size and scale of Ethereum 
and what it could be in the future, I do believe that there isn't too many layer twos out there. I think there's room for everyone to eat. And of course, when it comes to ARB, right, the governance token of Arbitrum, I'm dollar cost averaging. I am not using leverage. I'm not swing trading. I'm not going all in. I'm just putting incremental amounts anytime I earn income. And that way, you know, if the price does dip, I'm not panicking. I'm not having this anxiety. I'm not day trading. So I'm not afraid of getting liquidated. I'm just putting a certain amount every month that I'm not quite essentially afraid to lose. I'm just putting some that I feel secure about investing. And then I just keep accumulating more and more. If it drops, great. I'll just dollar cost average even more. But if the price stays the same, then I'll still dollar cost average. I'll just hold and I'll just wait for the peak of the bull run, which could very well happen in quite some time. Because as we all know, Bitcoin having event, it just stays away at this point, which is crazy. And historically speaking, altcoins, they do have, you know, some of them, right, usually have reached their peak either 18 months to six months after a Bitcoin halving event. So if we take that into consideration, six to 18 months after this April, that's still quite some time. Now, it's not actually that long when you think about it, because, you know, some people, they've been holding cryptocurrencies just in general. I'm not talking about ARB, you know, for a number of years at this point. So they've been waiting for quite a while. So either six to 18 months from around right now doesn't seem too bad, in my opinion. And also, as of right now, more institutional investors than ever before, more crypto owners than ever before, over half a billion, you know, around 575 million to be exact, according to Crypto.com research. Man, those are very bullish factors. You know, when I consider just how crazy this altcoin season could be, again, right, with this many crypto owners, read the sky's the limit. I don't see why ARB conservatively won't go to the price of $20. I don't see why not, especially, right, if let's say, right, in the very near future, we get the Ethereum spot ETF approval in the US, really, I really do believe that the sky's the limit for a lot of layer twos out there, which of course includes Arbitrum. And again, ARB at the price of $20, I don't see why not, especially when I consider how its market cap at that point, considering its current circulating supply, would be around $53 billion, which isn't all that insane. We've seen Doge go to around $88 billion. I mean, come on, right? This isn't ridiculous if you ask me. Now, Arbitrum doesn't have the fans that a meme coin like in the case of Doge has, but come on, man. We're talking about, you know, potentially one of the best layer two scaling solutions out there for Ethereum. I don't think this is a tough task. At least that's the way I view it. Arb at the price of $20 during the peak of this bull run wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. Make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also on top of that, make sure to check out this very fantastic video. I think you all would really love it. It's going to be the captain. And I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm a peace. Bye.